added wall run feature yo this is gonna be dope all right so this version 14.4 update is going to be big it is scheduled to come out on the 27th of july i have the link of the patch notes in the comments and the description if you want to read along what's new they have a brand new battle pass metro fantasy and it says here as technology advanced people's imagination soared envisioning a futuristic utopian city a hundred years from now the city is no longer a cold, lifeless, still jungle, but a place where the glimmering of metal adds beauty and inspiration. Is this supposed to be like a Barbie girl fantasy world? Filled with hope, its residents embrace the endless possibilities of the future. Battle Pass Phase 6, Metro Fantasy Battle Pass is here. Rewards include a super, super rare hero skin Maggie Trans Dimension Agent. I've actually seen some leaks on this um, on Twitter and this skin looks pretty dope. Like a, a, an evolved Power Ranger of some sort. They have a super rare weapon skin Defender, so it's a uh, future traveler. Not sure what this looks like. A super rare vehicle skin Wasteland Hovercraft sizzling times just simply basing that off of the name i am not sure what that's going to look like but sizzling times maybe it's gonna have like a like a clock on it of some sort like clock split spread around the hovercraft and like a little pocket watch of some sort that's what I'm, that's what i'm envisioning in my head so they have a ton of other super rare items loads of diamonds and gold just begging to be unlocked this new battle pass will last from the from july 27th up until august 23rd so during this time you can get awesome rewards by completing missions to upgrade your pass level they have an all new lottery event candela vacation i think that's how you pronounce that first word so a mid midsummer the long forgotten coastline comes alive with a gentle breeze rolling waves warm sunshine and refreshing sips of ice cold orange soda capsular taking a break from their fierce competitions gather at candela bay stepping onto the soft sandy beach they venture into the depths of the sea under the sea surrendering to the ocean's embrace the beach is a vibrant oasis of youth and vitality momentarily making them forget the post-apocalyptic world they inhabit that's a pretty nice summary i don't even know what this is like. okay it's for a lottery event we'll, we'll just see what that looks like when it gets here that sounds pretty promising lottery will candela vacation lottery chest includes a super super rare hero skin lucien does this is what it's gonna be okay uh rosemary's kiss a super super rare pod flamenco i almost misread that as flamingo a super super rare trail rainbow bun fire more super rare skins just waiting for you to unlock so this lottery duration is going to be from the 27th of july up until august 24th is this the same date or this seems like it's a day after yeah i thought so so the battle this is this lottery is going to last one day more than the um battle pass interesting new season the new season opens when 14.4 is updated so this is the season duration it's going to be for seasons 10 11 and 12 that's just just going to tell you when the how long the seasons are going to last let me get back to more important things that's really coming next season so new features and optimizations system added weekly and monthly card the brand new weekly monthly card is available now. Purchase to get extra daily items such as diamonds, room cards, lottery tickets, re-sign re in, re -sign in cards, etc. Up to a total value of 8,520 diamonds. Okay, purchase and activate the membership privilege to get exclusive kills, broadcast, privilege logo, and entry broadcast. A lot of privileges going around here. Heroes and system voiceovers. Added a CN and PTBR voiceover. I, if anybody knows what that means, just let me know in the comments because I have zero idea what that means setting they added a reverse gyroscope setting so for the gyro players that's probably good not sure how though added the settings of no camera rotation and aim mode added sensitivity mode settings players can now choose between two modes acceleration or fix this is going to be very helpful i myself like to use fixed speed but i'm aware that a lot of other people like to use acceleration so this different versatility is going to be pretty dope they added the new feature of stick size adjustment dude this is gonna be i've been waiting for them to add this for i don't know how long now i do not like that big old joystick that we have now so this is gonna be pretty dope when this get added they added vehicle weapon settings hmm 
Added three settings, switches, vehicle, weapon, auxiliary, sight, vehicle, weapon, auto fire, and quick ADS. Interesting. Added shadow settings. Rank match. Added, oh, this gonna be dope. Added deathmatch to rank. So I play a lot of deathmatch before I hop into a BR round. So this is gonna be pretty dope now that they added rank to this. So they added B uh, deathmatch to rank. They added five division ranked leaderboard. Each division leaderboard displays separately. Added ace tier star. For every 100 rank points you increase, you will gain one star. Interesting. I can't wait to see how this is going to work. They adjusted the legend tier requirements. So you reach ace tier 50 star and top 300 of division leaderboard. Interesting. Added the display of ace tier stars and legend tier rankings to the tier icons and some interfaces. So they have custom rooms too. This is going to be dope. Custom rooms, they added two deathmatch maps to the custom room, 10 man, industrial area, and polar point. Added the feature of room name modification while creating a custom room. Added the feature of a room name and password modification before the game starts after creating a custom room. Added the feature of setting a prize pool in customized battle royale mode. If this means what I think it means, so you can have, you can win stuff in a custom room? I wonder how that's gonna work, okay. Added the feature of presetting weapon and vehicle amount in customized battle royale mode. Added the feature of weapon banning in customized deathmatch. So, okay, they're just gonna, that means that they're gonna restrict some weapons from being used. So I guess if the host doesn't want somebody to use a Jupiter in the game, they're just gonna ban that from being used inside the custom room. Social, adjusted the friend system to mutual following. A player can follow up to 500 people and have a maximum of 1,000 followers. Dog, that's crazy. Okay, added the feature of sp fin friend spectator. This is going to be dope because now, at right now, currently you can't see anything. You just know that somebody's in a match, but then you just sit there and wait and you don't even know when the game's going to end or when they're about to die. So this is going to be dope. Added the feature of importing Steam friends after linking the Steam account, you can invite your Steam friends to play Farla 84. So that's going to be very helpful to the PC players there. Added the feature of friend recommendation. Added the feature of chat channel translations. Press to translate the messages. So this is going to be for the global chat. I soon they added the feature of sending stickers in chat channels interesting added language and tier filters in the teammate recruitment system capsulars warehouse added hero customization whoa okay um now you can set exclusive profile background jetpack trail and pod for each hero so it's like a preset i'm assuming added a random option for the jetpack trail and pod customization you can set a random customized item to display upon entering the battlefield me personally i will probably never use that tournament and clans optimize the system interface of tournaments increase the minimum withdrawal of clan prizes from twenty dollars to forty dollars optimize the violation rules to target offending clans during the tournament Added the display of exclusive banners for some clans. Spectator tools. Added the feature of showing bullet trajectory on the map. Added the feature of display mode adjustments of player overhead info. Added x-ray vision. So some spectators would be having some fun, bro. Battle adjustments. Okay, this is going to be real good here. Heroes. Roll passives. They rework the scout style passives. Enables HP bar observation after aiming the scope at enemies for a certain period of time. Maggie, she has a new ability. Interesting. Tactical skill change from grenade to tactical roll. Are you Maggie's gonna be happy or mad about this? Tactical roll. Maggie swiftly rolls towards her target, reloading her weapon and purifying herself. She gains partial immunity to negative effects during the roll. Okay, so now I wonder what the cooldown of the roll is gonna be. Is it like she can use it back to back to back to back? Is it a five second cooldown, a 30 second cooldown? I wonder how that's gonna work. Duckside, ultimate drone shield. Faster shield release and shields will be generated faster. Extended shield durations. They probably finna make this dude OP, man. Uh, tactical skill change from smoke bomb to wrecking ball. I've actually seen some of this on Twitter as well. Wrecking duck ball. Duck side inflates himself into a spherical shape, enhancing speed and defense while dealing impact damage to enemies with a knockback effect. A knockback effect? Are we playing Minecraft, bro? Shrank duck size range for 
for taking damage. This sounds like Duckside is gonna be one of the top three heroes in this season. I wonder how this is gonna work. He Maybe he won't be as OP as I'm thinking. MKR, completely revamped with new passive skills, tactical skills, and ultimate? Oh, they finna make this do it a straight bot. <laughs> MKR changed from offensive style to scout style. Are they trying to make Pathfinder from Apex? Ultimate Sky Roaming. MKR sets a skydiving device, which can eject the user to a high altitude and enter the skydiving state again. Tactical skill, Fatal Volley. MKR reveals his secret weapon firing weapon to fire a bombardment of rockets in front of him. So they just switch his old ultimate for his tactical now. So his passive skill is a mid-air Hawkeye. Okay, Avengers Assemble? While skydiving, MKR can scan and acquire enemy information within a specific range, marking them for identification. Yeah, if I was an MKR main, thankfully I'm not, I would be pretty mad at this. This is going to change MKR completely. Hoarder, I have no idea what this is. Using Hoarder airdrops as a model increase the amount of supplies in airdrop. Also, optimize the logic behind Hoarder drop and its effects in deathmatch, solo, and training grounds quick rescue slightly reduce the additional acceleration gained by hoarder and her teammates passive skill slightly reduce the additional acceleration gained by hoarder and her teammates when using shield rechargers hoarder now has an exclusive remote that interacts with airdrop this sounds like a uh, momoi because she's the only one who has airdrops and they talking about shield rechargers yeah i'm thinking this is momoi lucienda ultimate absolute gravity sounds like a an anime move man like their absolute gravity some junk like that now enemy units in the area of a black hole will be sucked into the center and take minor damage that sounds promising adjusted the slowing effects of absolute gravity hopefully they made it stronger in terms of slowing the enemies down because otherwise it kind of sucks right now only way it works is if you take your hand off the joystick yeah, or you can just jetpack out of it. So this is gonna be good for Lucy in the main. Cypher, ultimate EMP shock. Uh-oh, I'm a Cypher man. I don't know what they're gonna say. Now EMP shock will do a certain amount of shield damage that, that is not needed. Um, all enemies in range of EMP shock will continue to take shield damage. Please don't do it. Adjusted, adjusted how hero and vehicle skills are disabled when affected with EMP shock. I, I think she's better off without having the damage being dealt with the EMP. It, it's good enough as is, but okay, we'll see how this works whenever it comes in. Sienna, her ultimate Medi X. This should be good. This should be better. Um, The ultimate. Now the medical drone will no longer be able to be destroyed by enemies. That's good. Will now only deploy medical drones to teammates who are in range of the skill. Oh boy, I wonder what the range is gonna be then because at first this thing was unlimited. Watchmen, ultimate freeze defense turret. The turret will now prioritize attacking the closest unblocked enemy. What was it doing at first? Captain, the ultimate aqua blast. It is now possible to interrupt skill Skills in advance? What does that mean? Aqua Blast will be affected by attack range. The damage and slowing effect will become weaker the further an enemy is. That is promising. Aqua Blast will now benefit from aim assist. That is not promising. Tactical skill, barrier deployment. Barrier deployment now allows players to release the skill while shooting. Okay, that sounds dope. While greatly reducing the skill's pre-release actions. They increase the shield strength, which is good. It was very weak. And they optimize the skill's vision visuals phantom optimized visuals for the ultimate optic camo now hidden chars are less visible while sprinting what in the world are chars slightly reduce the scout range for tactical skill it was already too small in my opinion how you feel about this phantom mains are you happy about it being <laughs> the range of what your recon can see being reduced are you happy about that ember they optimize visuals for the ultimate vision erosion i wonder what they mean by this that thing was already kind of good well it's pretty broken actually but only if you're stuck in it though young optimized visuals for the ultimate divulge increase the range of enemy footprints revealed by the passive skill track and trace that is good been needing that because otherwise i just used them the other day and i was disappointed vehicles gunboat change the weapon trajectory to curve trajectory oh boy 
with greater fire coverage at close range and the, and the ability to deal high damage with accurate hits at long range. Wasteland Hovercraft. Firing method change from three burst shots to a single shot. Overheating mechanism change to bullet preparation mechanism. Rocket Tarantula. Slightly increased fire delay time. New precision shooting mode. You can now fire a small number of rockets accurately at a small target. That's the, um, the bombardment tarantula thing the one that nobody ever wants to get hit by but everybody wants to use so you can now fire a small number of rockets accurately at a small target so i guess it's just they're making it more accurate so it doesn't cover as much area that's promising blazing infantry added a passenger seat okay <laughs> dope i guess war spider optimized gaming feel for the using the leap skill it already felt good change weapon ballistics to horizontal distribution single pilot mecha optimized visuals for the dash skill slightly reduced minimum weapon scatter hmm hover bike opening fire no longer Longer increases scatter and will now deal higher damage when aiming that's nice that seems like that had a lot of potential uh, this this um, bike had always had a lot of potential using optic misdirection will now increase hover bike speed added a screen effect for optic misdirection while optimizing the vehicle's material representation hover car using optic misdirection will now increase hover car speed so that's just like the cloak ability thing it never did have a point really because it never went invisible but this is dope it's going to increase the speed added a screen effect for optic misdirection while optimizing the vehicle's material representation a rotation mechanism for vehicle locations has been added at the same time after patrolling phase of a match Players can check where vehicles are on the large map. Optimize other vehicle performances. Weapons. Okay, this is this is this is gonna be interesting because as of now, the Jupiter 6 is obviously the best weapon. So balances and adjustments. Assault rifle, Jupiter 6. So they're going to reduce the bullet size, but increase the magazine capacity. Reasonable, but how small are they gonna reduce the bullet size to? Invader, increase bullet size, increase firing speed, increase invaders bullet increase invaders base magazine capacity. This is much needed because the invader is trash as of now. Uh-oh, the AK-77, the damage was already good. I actually personally did want it to do more damage, that and the Mad Rat, but they're going to be increasing the damage of the AK. I wonder about how much. Okay, the VSS, this gun was also straight garbage. They increased the damage of it, and they're going to increase the base magazine capacity and mod magazine capacity for the VSS much needed they need to increase the damage tenfold by a whole lot more to make it even worth considering using generator they reduced the generators damage the damage was already bad enough what smg uzi remove the magazine for the uzi increase the uzi's damage and they adjust the uzi's ballistics what i wonder what the magazine capacity is going to be for the uzi then if they're going to reduce uh remove the magazine for it white dwarf the white dwarf's damage damage uh, are they going to increase it or the deep i'm assuming they're going to increase it they adjusted the white dwarf's ballistics as well they the white dwarf does like 10 damage so it, it's definitely going to be needing more damage but i'm still thinking about this uzi though what is the, the mag size going to be let's go let's go let's go let's go the ump the damage is getting an increase now smgs are actually going to have some use better use so as a cypher main this is going to be my secondary weapon the mf18 they're going to increase the damage of that as well sniper rifle the bar 95 they reduce the weight the weight needed for the bar 95 to hit center targets from waist shot o okay i don't know what they mean the defender they reduce the defender's firing speed but they're going to increase the damage they're also going to increase the headshot coefficient they're going to reduce the weight so the same thing as the bar 95 here still don't know what this means so they reduce the weight needed for defender to hit center targets from waist shot what the heck does that mean stellar wind they're going to increase the stellar wind's head shot coefficient 
That sounds nice. But they're also going to reduce the stellar wind center targets from waste shot. Still don't know what that means. Third time is not the charm. Shotgun. They add a shotgun damage decay curve. So it's going to do damage like over time or something? Hound. Optimize firing and reloading animations for the hound. Airdrop weapon. They move the airdrop weapons from items list to basic weapons list. Rhino. The rhino. So they're, they're going to reduce the magazine size of it but they're going to increase the damage and bullet speed i think it holds about eight in its mag right now so if they were to reduce it to four that'll still be pretty reasonable especially if they're going to increase the damage and the bullet speed that sounds that sounds dope weapon mods so they've stylized the silhouette for the weapon mods okay optimize scope size on four to three ratio screens Battle system, airdrops and supply ships. Optimize the visuals and auditory performances of supply ships. New supply ship music and broadcast voice. Optimize special effects when airdrops land. Optimize combat visualization features. Optimize, 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 optimize. Okay, optimize combat visualization user interface. The size and color of battle arc visualizations will change depending on the distance of the threat. New type of combat visualization information, <laughs> that rhymes, for parachute jumps. Adjusted trail trajectories when parachuting. Combat visualization of enemy characters is no longer displayed when the enemy is in an obvious position in the enemy's line of in the position of the player's line of sight. Revive and walking up to a teammate's dead loot and reviving them. The loot list is collapsed by default, bro. Thank you, cause I've been accidentally looting my teammates, man. When they, when they, um, when they die, and I did not like that, so I had to like give them back their stuff. So rescue. When rescuing a fallen teammate, the camera can now rotate freely without interrupting the rescue. Thank you. That's also helpful. Items, consumables of the same type will be combined in the loot list. I don't really know what they mean. Marker feature. Added a new feature automatically marking danger after hitting an enemy. Ooh, I wonder if this is gonna be helpful or if it's gonna be getting in the way while you're shooting though. New smart marker, danger feature. New scout marker, danger feature. So essentially just aim at the enemy like in the general area and you will be able to mark out the danger. Markers will now change styles giving their position from the center to provide a better view of the battle as a whole. After responding to a teammate's item recommendation marker, the item will remain on your screen for a longer period of time. Voice will optimize gaming feel for the voice will. Hit feedback, optimize the UI of floating words in combat. Being attacked feedback, new screen effects when players are attacked. Enemy tracing, new outlines of hostile characters. Squad list, new status information displays of teammates firing using consumables and restoring shields. Optimize the expression of teammate survival status information. Uh, Reaper. New exclusive performance when becoming the Reaper. New exclusive performance? So do you run faster now or something? I don't know what they mean. Added wall run feature. Yo, this is gonna be dope. So aim at the wall to trigger a jump and your character will run vertically along the wall until the triggering a climb or landing back on the ground. Strange wording. Rotate the perspective or press the crouch button to cancel and drop immediately during a wall run. Press the jump button during a wall run to cancel and immediately jump backwards away from the wall. I can already see some cool clips coming from this new feature being added. Game modes. They added a warm up mode brief description of the rule players can play a single team in a warm-up match they are free to choose weapons with unlimited deathmatch revives until the end of the match countdown oh okay so this is gonna be before the game starts so like if you're in br i guess while you're waiting now they're going to have a room that you can warm up in and like go against one other enemy team while you wait for the game to start how to participate method one coliseum warm-up Method 2. When players are matching for other modes, if the match is expected to take longer than anticipated, the lobby will show the entrance to a warm-up match, from which you can enter the warm-up match and play while you wait for the corresponding mode to be matched successfully. The mode that you want to enter will be matched normally during the warm-up match. Okay. After a successful match, you will go directly to the official battleground you were matching for. Yeah, so it's, it's just like I was saying, so it's gonna be 
you're, you're going to be able to do a warm-up match while you're waiting for the game to start. So I'm guessing this is going to be added because they want to reduce the amount of bots that you go against. So you're just going to have to wait a little longer. But while you're waiting, you can do a warm-up now. So that's pretty dope. Battle Royale optimizations. Hero selection. Changing hero skins on the hero selection screen is now supported? Hmm. When you choose to play at a higher quality than balance, the hero selection screen will show 3D models of the hero. So you can change the skin while you're trying to select them victory screen optimize visuals and performance of the victory screen item spawns optimized and balanced gun spawns okay reduce the amount of guns and shields in elite chest what while increasing the amount of mods what don't do it parachuting optimize logic and performance behind following and changing targets during parachuting Progression. Optimize the model and performance of Capsular XP, Shield XP, and Shield XP devices. The location of Shield XP devices will now vary from match to match. When killing enemies, opening airdrops, or opening chests, progression mission items will directly land on the ground. Players who died in a match will still benefit from the system's regular Capsular XP distribution. Capsular XP dropped from players' body after multiple deaths will be... <laughs> <laughs> will be reduced by a specific percentage so just don't die because <laughs> you're gonna get punished real real good music and sound effects they added a new music when countdown timer reaches 10 seconds during a preparation phase that sounds dope newly added sound reminders when displaying poison circle i didn't know they called it poison in this game i thought it was just gonna be called zone so poison circle warnings, prompts, and completions. New battle background music during late game. Okay, I don't listen to music though from the game while I'm playing. That probably is gonna interrupt, but I'm still, I still kind of curious though what it's gonna sound like. Scenery and environment. Different languages for city names will now be displayed on the mini map while parachuting. That's gonna be dope. Just like a cool little feature. It's not necessarily necessary, but it's just it's just a nice feature. Newly added underwater effects and water will no longer block line of sight. So that's gonna be dope, but are they gonna allow you to shoot while you're in the water now? Battle info. New display for numbers of assist and damage value within matches. Solo mod optimizations. Optimize all UI interactions and remove the beta tab. We're officially live. Okay, that's gonna be dope, yo! Can no longer use skills during the pre- <laughs> I abuse this with Momoi. Can no longer use skills during the preparation phase as to not carry over certain effects into the real match. When a new character comes into battle, their ultimates will enter cooldowns, making timing more of a key factor when using these skills. Uh, I don't think that was necessarily necessary. At the beginning of the next round, if a character's HP is below 60, the system will revive, the system will restore the character's HP back up to 60. Team Deathmatch Optimizations. Optimize the weapon selection interface. Now supports viewing all weapons on one screen. You can tap on favorites and stick the weapons you like on the top for very view easy viewing and selection. Eliminated the cooldown timer on the weapon selection screen and extended the display duration of the weapon selection button, giving players more time to select the weapon they want. Yes, it usually goes away too quick before you can find the weapon that you wanted. Now shows enemy nicknames when aiming at them. That's pretty good too, so you can target one person if you want to. Hunt mode, oh. Okay, so they're temporarily removing the hunt mode. I never even play that, only if I need to, um, to do the missions for the battle pass. Location, Sunset City, uh-oh. Reworked Carnival, completely revamped certain building. Dang, I was just starting to memorize these buildings. Okay, I don't I don't know what they mean though. So like how how revamped are we talking though? I wonder what they mean, like how 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 drastic is this gonna be? So another thing for the PC player, so steam adjustments and optimizations. Place med kits, shield rechargers and shield recharger into the item wheel triggered by four keys don't know what that means i'm sure you pc players do though and now supports individual use of specific items by configuring custom keys new emote sticker wheel triggers by five keys by spacebar toggling and optimized controller sensitivity farlet 84 so this is going to be a 
very, very big update as you can see. This was a whole lot to go through and I think Farlight is going to be doing a very good thing by doing all of these different balances and optimizations and nerfs and buffs but i'm still stuck on mkr yo that's 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 gonna be crazy man so he's gonna basically i'm assuming he's gonna be used how pathfinder would be used but without the grapple in farlight 84 and that's gonna wrap up the video guys everybody take care